about our hide inside cottage. This one is absolutely one of my favorites, just tons of sensory. This is for birth, um, birth and up, and it's nice and soft, so there's no harm for the baby at all. It has pockets all the way around. You can see here's a clear pocket, here's a felt one, just different um, fabrics to engage their senses. Different little pockets here. Here's kind of a smooth one. And it just has tons of sensory built into it. So I better show you here, I'm gonna lower my camera. So first of all, you saw it has a nice size to it and it's nice and soft, like you can, like you can uh, stick it in your diaper bag. It has a Velcro closure with crinkly doors on our little cottage. All babies love that crinkling sound. And inside we have six forest creatures because this is a little cottage. So we have a fox that has a little rattle to him. You can hear the little rattle. And you'll notice that all of these animals, because of course they're made for infants, they don't have like any buttons or anything on their eyes. They're just sewn on, so you don't have to worry about any choking hazards. And such pretty colors. This little fox is pink. Then we have a little owl, or excuse me, a bird that has the crinkle wings. You can hear the little crinkle wings on him. He's just nice and soft and cute as well. We also have a hedgehog and he's got a corduroy fabric. And he's got a squeak to him. And he also has little feet. So you can start talking about, you know, nose and feet and eyes and have the baby point to those. And then we have our owl, which also has a rattle in it. A little different kind of a rattle. And we have our deer. <laughs> He's cute and he has a chime in him. It's a little chiming deer. Again, they're all just so nice and soft. And then our last one is this cute little bunny. He's very soft. He has silky ears and he has beads in his bottom. So it's a nice texture for them to feel. So just a variety of shapes and sounds. Um, teaches cause and effect too. You know, by squeezing, it's going to make a sound teaches object permanence. Kids just love to put things inside and hide them. But it's really important for them at this young age to learn about object permanence where things disappear and even though you can't see it, it's still there. Helpful for when mom leaves the room so that they know she's going to come back again. You can also put these in the pockets around the outside to help them fill up those pockets with animals. Just a lot of fun for them to, to do that. Um, also teaches fine motor and hand-eye coordination and memory recall. You can use it for memory, like say you're going to put the bunny in and the, and the little bird and ask them, okay, which ones did I put in there? What, which ones am I going to pull out? Really to expand their vocabulary too. You can just do tons of storytelling with these, pretend, imaginary play. Um, and then also there is a cool secret door here for some puppet play. So this one pocket here has an opening underneath. So I like to take the bird or the owl or whichever one I have here, and then you can do some um, cute puppet play with it and have it come up on the, on the other side with your hand on the inside of the hide inside cottage. So just so many things you can do with this. Again, all of those senses, needing to engage those for those younger kids. Um, really tactile discrimination as well with sense of touch. And they all fit inside and what child doesn't like to um, you know, fill and dump and dump things out. So I like that they all fit in here. You can even just take you know, one or two of them and use it when the child is young as a little rattle or something that they can grab onto. They're nice and small that they can grab onto them and play. So that is the Hide Inside Cottage. And I think you're gonna love this addition to your playtime.